Ready to take my refrigerator and all this out, drill my holes up, do the ceiling for my solar panels. Ready to install the solar panels, gotta wash it. Been sitting up for two years, never washed up here. Alright, get back to it. I put the solar panels up, clean it up here. That's the wire for it. Got two holes right there for the wire can go through. And I did put the rubber grommets on it to keep the wire from getting shaved by the roof. Got the panels there. About to put them up here. There's two other four. I drill two holes in the floor right here underneath my sink for the solar panels. And you can see I'm wiring it here. It's going to come around, come on top of my controller here. I'm going to put a fuse on it. So, um, you can trip if I get too much power coming down in a trip this and I'll probably mount it right here I think that's 40 amps if anybody know that's too small or too big let me know in the comments so I can change it up all right Got the solar panels hooked up. I haven't glued them down at the top or screwed them down. I got every light on in the bus. And you can see my batteries are still 100%. You let me done drop down by now. And it's 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Sun is going down. And that's how many volts I'm pulling in. So, they doing their job. And then I turn this up. I do this here. It kills it. No power is coming in from the solar panels. So the safety thing. Turn it back on. You can see it goes back up. So I'm happy. 100% every light's on in the bus. That's real good. So the panels are in. So when it was on the roof. Air conditioner be blocking most of that wind, so that's it. Tomorrow I do the black tank. I'm gonna go work on the bus this morning. Too lazy to walk over there. Gotta drive my golf cart. <laughs> Work on the black tanks that day. Try to get that out the way. I'm gonna start out this morning by putting this up here go ahead and close that up i'm poked out all the holes 
so those can breakers can come through. Let me get started. Finally got that finished. That was a time. This is the only thing I got to hook up as for cable TV. Got to run the wire for that. I got to get the wire, didn't run it. But I just wanted to show you guys. I got my inverter on, 3000 watt inverter. I got the refrigerator plugged up, all the lights on, all the bay lights on, as you can see. And my battery's still at 100%. With those 400 watt solar panels I hooked up yesterday. So, I'm really loving it. Really loving it. Alright, we're going to get back to the putting in the black tank today. Pretty much everything is running off the solar panels, not even running off the batteries. Because as you can see right there, it says float. So my inverter is running off my solar panels. And a lot of people say they couldn't be done. Got all my holes marked out. Vent hole, sink. Toilet, shower. I just gotta cut it. And of course, the drain will be right here. I cut this up. They take that flex here, do all this on both sides. So when I put the tank down in here, it won't rub up against this wood. All my hose done, that's the shower there, like I said. Toilet, sink, vent, and y'all sink me. Cut this one here. So we gonna go start measuring out the pipe to put in it. Trying to put that pipe in that grommet. I got my soapy water there. Got to do the same thing up here. Over there. I got that dry fitted. Not going to film it. Can't have you all laughing at me. See you after I get it in. I got all the plumbing glued in. Going over to the black tank. Happy about that. Next video I'll be testing it out. I'm not gonna test it today. I'll clean up a little bit in here. Go around to the other side.